Welcome to this video on how to use basic operating system commands. My name's Andy Wicks and this video is being produced so that I can show you later on how to deploy a Java program. In other words, make it available for users who don't have an integrated development environment. But to do that, we need to have a look at some things first. We're going to have to learn about the basic operating system commands. I'm going to show you some commands that we won't be needing when we deploy a Java program, but they're useful to know anyway, so you can see what's going on underneath the hood. The first thing we need to do is to go to where the command prompt is. So that is start, all programs, and then accessories. In accessories, there's a command prompt program. Here's the command prompt program. And what I'm going to do is to maximize this window. And you think, well, why is he telling me that? Well, that's because it's not going to work in the way that you'd expect. When I click the maximize button, I don't get it full screen. I merely get it 80 columns wide. In my day, when I was young, the screens were at most 80 columns wide, and that's hung over even to today. We're right back to the olden days. Now I'm going to be using my flash drive for this example. So that's my K drive. To change a dri to a drive, I type in the drive letter followed by a colon. Press enter, and I'm on that drive. So if I wanted to go to the D drive, D colon. Now I'm going to make some directories. I'm going to type in MD for make directory and then I'm going to type in the names of the directories that I want. In this case the directory that I want to create is called Fred and inside Fred I'd like there to be a Daphne subdirectory. Notice that we can do this all in one go. We can create two directories at once. I press enter and it seems to have worked, but how do I know? Well, let me change to the directory Fred. CD is change directory. So I'm going to CD Fred, and now I'm in the Fred directory. But do you believe me that Daphne is in there too? If I type in DIR, I get a directory listing that lists all the files and all the directories in the current drive. So here it is and this is the Daphne directory that we created just a little earlier. Now I'm going to create a file called friends and I'm going to do that in the Daphne directory. So CD Daphne I'm now in the Daphne directory and to create a simple text file I've got to type in copy, con, and the name of the file I want to create. Now what it's doing is copying from the console, console is the old name for the keyboard, into a file called friends. And when I press enter it looks as if nothing's happened. But now I can type in the friends of Daphne. Well, that would be Fred, Wilma, Scooby-Doo, and Shaggy. When I've finished, I press Ctrl and Z, and then press Enter. And that file has now been created. And to show you that that file is there, I'm going to create another listing, a directory, and in this directory you'll see that there's a file with 31 bytes in called friends.txt. We've got our file, but this is just an example and I don't really want that file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it now. Having created it, I'm going to delete it. So that's Dell, and then the name of the file. So the file was called friends.txt. I type in Dell Friends TXT. And now I can check the directory listing again. And you'll see that Friends has gone. So how do I move 
backwards and forwards. To move backwards one level, I type in CD space and dot dot. Dot dot means go up one level. So here I am in that level. If I do CD slash dot, it takes me to the root directory of whichever drive I'm on. So in this case, it will take me to K colon. Now you say, oh, I could have done that using CD dot dot, and that's true. But if we wanted to move from K colon Fred Daphne straight back to K, CD slash dot is a far faster way of doing it. But now I'd like to remove the Fred directory. The remove directory command is RD, and if I now type in Fred, I'm going to get an error. It says the directory is not empty. It won't let me delete a directory that has something in it. It's different to the way that your Windows File Manager works. So I need to do cd space fred slash Daphne and check whether anything is still in Daphne. You and I know it isn't, but we've now checked. Now I can do cd dot dot and go up a level. I can now remove Daphne and then I can go up a level and I can remove Fred. So these are the basic operating system commands that we're going to be using later on to deploy a Java program. So let me just go over all of that again for you quickly. These are the basic operating system commands that we use. If you want to move to a drive, you type in its letter followed by a colon and press enter. If you want to list all the files and folders in the current directory, it's DIR. If you want to make a directory, you can make several at once, or just one. You use the MD command, space, and then type in the names of the directories that you want to create. In this case, Fred slash Daphne will create a directory Fred, and inside Fred will be a directory called Daphne. We can change directory. The cd command allows us to move to another directory and make this the current directory. So if we were at k colon and we wanted to move to Fred, we could say cd Fred. If we want to move up one level, it's cd dot dot. That would take us, if we were in Daphne, to the directory Fred. If we were in Fred, it would take us to k colon cd slash dot takes us to the root directory of whichever drive we're on. So cd slash dot would take us from the directory Fred Daphne all the way back to k. Copy con, copy from the console, allows us to create a text file. If we do that, the screen then just sits on the next line and waits for you to type in text. You can type in as many lines of text as you like, then hit Ctrl and Z, and then hit Enter, and the file is stored in the current directory. If you want to delete a file, it's del. So if you want to delete a file called x.txt, it's del space x.txt. And if you want to remove a directory, it's rd. So if you want to remove Fred, it's rd space Fred. But Fred must be empty.